Remember how we're pretending we discovered a planet people could live on? What if we got all the way there and we're orbiting around it? And then we discovered an invisible force on the planet. This force can move clouds, make a tornado, or blow over trees. Without it, there wouldn't be different kinds of weather. Do you know what force this is? I'm talking about wind. Other planets have wind, just like the Earth does. When we go outside, we can detect the wind, even though we can't see it. We can see the wind blowing things around. Sometimes we can hear the wind rushing through trees or grasses. We might even be able to smell the wind, like if there's a rainstorm far away. You might have noticed that whenever the weather changes, we have a lot of wind. Do you remember last week when it snowed so much? The day before it snowed, it wasn't very cold, but in the afternoon it started to get windy as the colder weather started to arrive. So where does wind come from? Well, you've probably noticed that if you have a hot drink on a cold day, eventually your drink will get cold. That's because heat flows until temperatures are equal. That's why our ice cubes, no matter how much insulation we gave them, eventually they all melted because the heat from the room came and melted the ice. This happens all over the Earth because of the way the Earth is tilted. In the winter, in the northern hemisphere where we live, it gets colder, but at the same time, in the southern hemisphere, it gets hotter. This means that different parts of the Earth are cold and different parts are hot at the same time. When air flows to try to equalize the pressure and temperature around the Earth, we get wind. In Albuquerque, spring is often the windiest time of the year. This is often because the sun is heating up the earth more, and as that warm air rises, cold air rushes in to replace it. That leads to the afternoon spring winds we see so often in March and April and May. For our STEM activity today, we're going to make a pinwheel so that you can see air moving. You'll need a piece of paper, scissors, and tape. A ruler will also help. If you have a printer, you can print out a template in the description of this video. But if not, I'll show you how to make one with just a plain piece of paper. First, we're going to turn our paper into a square. Take your paper and fold over one side to make a triangle. Then cut along this edge of the triangle. When you open your paper up, you have a square. You can color it during this step if you want. Next, we're going to fold the triangle the other way and unfold it. This will give us an X in the middle of the paper that will be our guide for our lines. It also shows us where the middle of the paper is. Draw a tiny circle in the middle of the paper where the folds meet. Now, if you have a ruler, you can measure the next step exactly. If you don't have a ruler, you can use the tiny strip of paper you cut off. Just fold it in half and that will be about the right length. We want to draw little marks from each corner going towards the center about 4 inches in, or about the length of half a sheet of paper. Next, take your scissors and cut from the corner to the mark you just made. Don't cut all the way to the middle, just barely up to the mark. Do this on all four corners. Good! Now we're going to fold half of these in, so let's mark which ones we're going to fold. At the top edge, put an X on the left flap. Then rotate your paper so we have a new top edge, and put an X on the top left flap again. Do this two more times until you have four X's on your paper. Okay, now we have the last part. Bring each flap with an X to that circle you made in the center of your paper. Don't fold it, let the paper curve over. This will make a nice pocket for air. Use a tiny piece of tape to hold it down. We're going to go around and do this with all the flaps with X's on them. Using small pieces of tape will help make it so we don't tape down too much. Now you have a pinwheel that can catch the air. Do some experiments to see how you can make it spin. You can try dropping it, maybe on its side or upside down. See which way makes it spin the most. You can also try setting it on the floor and blowing on it if you're somewhere where you don't have to wear a mask. Try a whole bunch of things and then I want you to take a picture of your pinwheel and tell about the best way to make it spin. When you're done throwing it around, if you have a push pin and a straw or a stick, you can push the push pin through the middle of your pinwheel and into the stick. Then you can stick it in the ground outside and see if the wind will make it spin. You might need to rotate it to the right direction depending on which way the wind is blowing. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep making things.